75-year-old Dick Krause plays the trombone with little effort, but just weeks before, he was too short of breath from having a leaking heart valve. Dick has a disorder called mitral valve prolapse, one of the common causes of mitral regurgitation. He's among a handful of patients worldwide to undergo a new non-surgical procedure being tested to treat the regurgitation. Emory cardiologist Dr. Peter Block performs the procedure. So, up we go. Mitral valve regurgitation is a leakage of the mitral valve. And the mitral valve is the major valve that connects the collecting chamber on the left side of the heart to the pumping chamber on the left side of the heart. In the new procedure, a thin tube or catheter is inserted in a vein in the upper leg and guided into the heart. A metallic clip is then delivered through the catheter to the leaking mitral valve. Once there, the clip is attached to the center of the leaking valve, decreasing the backwards flow of blood. Blood then flows through two openings on either side of the clip. Doctors say there are great benefits to this procedure. Number one, and most important, it's done through a catheter, a needle hole instead of a chest incision. The patient doesn't need to have a heart operation. Number two, it does decrease the amount of leakage significantly. The procedure and device are still being evaluated by the FDA. Meanwhile, Dick says he's seeing improvement. Going down to pick up the mail, I'd sometimes I would stop halfway up and catch my breath. And now I can walk right up without having to stop. And one day to test myself, I, I ran up the hill. Dr. Block doesn't want Dick to overdo it, though he's glad he's regained so much energy. For Emory University, this is Rhonda Rowland reporting.